Step right up, ladies and gentlemen. Witness. More deaths in this game. <laughs> um, I've been hit, hitting hitting the salt piles pretty hard in this game. I'm not gonna lie. I've, I've been a a salty bastard. And my apologies for that. Seriously, uh, I don't want to be a salty bastard. Let's 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 do this. Uh, yeah. So my thought is let's let's apply a few of these. You know. Takes for parries. That's that's good. And increase by two percent. Our constitution at the start. Corruption threshold going up might be really good. But let's for now, let's stick with those two. Let's try those two out. And I do believe we're going Jaguar. Yes, we are going Jaguar. Maybe we'll make it to the tunes again. We haven't we haven't made it to the tunes again yet. Uh Gold is going to be a bit more harder to come by. It's more difficult to come by. But I'd rather have the weapon and then the stats. We can still get gold by healing ourselves. Um, where was I at the start? Oh, the, the, the salt mines I've opened in this, in this game. The salt mines have been flung open. And... Uh, greatly apologize for that I really do I do not want to be a salty person definitely don't want to be a salty person and I'm gonna try and just focus on getting better I have been thinking about uh, doing a bit of a, a YouTube search to see what people who actually play this game do uh, see what they do see how they do it see what parts they prefer maybe maybe learn a bit you know pay attention and learn something that thing I should have been doing my entire life okay that was that was a very strange um, moment in my mind what happened was my brain was like just shoot her you fool and then I pressed left click and I just held it waiting for the shot indicator to appear so that was, that was an interesting Occurrence, if I can put it that way. Um, it was very unplanned. It's not what was supposed to happen whatsoever, but you know. Alright, so here's the plan. Try and get a cheeky hit on, on two or three of these guys. And try and bait them this way. You know, try and finish them off without getting wrecked. Alright. Every room I go into now is its own little puzzle. That there is an efficient way to solve it, and there's an inefficient way to solve it. And then there's an idiotic way to solve it where you don't actually think. You just run in and you get hit a few times. <laughs> Which one do I do the most? <laughs> uh, that sucked. <laughs> uh, self insults. Self burn! Let's get that up. Oh, it's this room. I like this room. This room has some fun stuff in it. Like, I mean, I like the layout of this room. I don't like this actual room because I have to fall, fight multiple enemies. Multiple ways of enemies. Any room that that is a necessity and I do not approve of. As I've mentioned in some of my previous episodes. Whoop. No. I... Do I... Okay, wait. I, I need to experiment with something after this. Uh, chat, remind me. Dodge roll. Uh, mouse pointer. Um, let me... Experiment to some of it. Okay, that guy had a run up and a half at me. Just keep using the traps. It's by far the most effective thing to do. If you have to fight multiple enemies, you need something that can kill multiple enemies. 
and then find this bastard who's probably summoning a dog boy right now. Yep. Quickly try and get this thing dead. Okay, and then after this, I'm, I'm gonna go on another tangent about um, waves of enemies in, in, in pools. Okay. So even if I press left and I hit roll. So if I move my mouse, it'll roll to the mouse. That's with me with no keyboard inputs other than spacebar to roll. Oh, sorry, that reminds me. We move the microphone. Um, and, okay, so it rolls both to the mouse and not to the mouse. So if I move the mouse, you know what? Give me curse. I I need better damage. And then if I move the mouse, but I press back, it will always roll in this direction. Okay, so keyboard overrides mouse, not the other way around. That's what I needed to experiment with. Guys, the fact that it's the, the second freaking room, which we're not even done with, I might add. Oh, no, actually, no, we are actually done with it. And I had to kill like 20 enemies to finish it. Devs, if you ever watch this, right, and this is not me getting on my salt piles again, I really think um, if you put less enemies in the rooms, okay, and just bear with me here, if you put less enemies in the rooms, more people will play your game. This curse does suck. It's one of the ones I really don't like. Not because it's difficult, it just sometimes causes you to make decisions that you really don't want. I'm just saying, if you don't want more people to play your game, you want it to be a, a hardcore dungeon exploring isometric RPG roguelike thing, I'm, I'm all for that. But it's just a, a mention that more content creators will, will end up playing your game because the video got 50 blood minutes to complete a run. 50 minutes plus to complete a run. And then, because more content creators are playing your games, more normies who play your games. I wouldn't call them normies. Normies are the people who don't actually know about these games. But you know what I mean. More everyday gamers who play your game then. It's just a thought. Use it, don't use it. Whatever whatever suits you. Um Am I exploring too much and that's why I get into trouble? Yeah, probably. I mean I would not need to come into this freaking room. I'll tell you that much. But in all honesty, if you don't come into this room, I guess it's risking reward management. But I just think your game would be more enjoyable. I did not. No. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Um. I do think that your game would be a lot more enjoyable and would uh, cater to a larger audience if if it uh, had had less enemies per room. Like make them spawn five or six enemies, but when you kill that five or six, you're done. And then have like maybe one or two or two or three more waiting. Closer to the exit. Don't make me kill five and to get fucking 100 extra gold I have to run all the way there and get absolutely bodied by five or six other you. That sucks, man. It's not enjoyable. Eagle Relic. 45 damage against weakened enemies. 10% of the gold offered. Heal 10% of the gold offered. 15% damage against weakened enemies. None of those actually do anything for us, so let's reroll. Any healing that exceeds max health is turned into gold. 66% to all healing effects. 45% damage in darkness. I will pay. With blood. 45% damage to darkness. I think it's an incredibly good. Um, and that does push us towards another curse. And then even closer to another curse. 
So you have to heal. Sorry, I had a sip of uh, My cold drink all regularly in your face will disable. Okay. Okay. Got that again. Um, I could be completely wrong. I could feel this strongly about the amount of enemies per room because I'm bad at the game. But your game takes, at least from me, I'm, I'm pretty sure about most people, your game takes an immense amount of uh, focus, right? So think of it this way. If... Your game takes an immense amount of focus to not only navigate the traps, but dodge the projectiles, see the enemies in the dark, pick up the gold quickly, not get hit, blah, 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 right? If your game takes an immense amount of focus, which it does, don't, don't think that it doesn't. And, oh my lord, just die, lady. So your game takes an immense amount. Yeah, talk while stirring it. I used to do that to a decent extent, almost everywhere else. Um, the game takes a decent amount of focus just to play. So if your runs end up being, if your runs end up being 14 minutes, just to finish the first part. Because you have to fight so many enemies, then navigate traps, explore little rooms, look for secret rooms, navigate some more traps. If if that is if that is um, how you guys intend the game to be played, to have a mental fatigue as your character loses his sanity, it's really cool. I I, I like the concept. But I don't like playing it, though. Know what I mean? Nah, I mean... But I, I do really in... Like, I've, I physically enjoy playing your game. Like, I enjoy the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. The combat is really fun and satisfying. Um... There's just too much of it to be completely honest with you. Ah, man, Saraman, man, man, Paramana. Get trapped. Whoop! <laughs> You're not gonna believe me, but I actually have that planned. Okay, can I kill these bats, please? Especially when bats enter the fight with these curse system you got, which is a really cool system. I'm not hating on the curse system. It's just, it's just difficult as all, okay? I'm not saying make it more for casual players, I'm just saying it's difficult, man. Okay, um, see, and then getting hit like that while you're in a combo and there's literally nothing you can do about it and you know you still need to beat the crap out of 20 freaking bats. It just upsets me. Let's get a relic. Rachtaru, slachtaru, lunkaru, flunker, so come on, son, rachtan, tata, slacker, slack. Okay, ignore that. Uh, it's no longer contained gold, but I filled with blood. Blood heals and inflicts corruption. I'm not exactly sure how I'm supposed to feel about the combination of curses we've got going on here. Yeah, I prefer safety over here. <laughs> That's sort of a lot of explosions. What I'm saying is we've been busy for 14 minutes and I've made it to the first boss, okay? It's pretty decent speed-wise. And honestly... One way that you could, no, no, no one's even actually going to watch this video, but one way you could actually balance it is um, leave 
these rooms as they are, but make some rooms just trap rooms. Like make every second or every third room just a trap room. So let's say fight enemies, fight enemies, have to dodge traps and cover a gap, maybe have a, a time limit on it or something to get to the relic. Haven, fight enemies, again, trap room, something, something. Then you've... Then you've, like, maximized on most of what makes your game unique and and fun. And you've also made the time that it takes to, to finish a run a, a tad bit less, which makes the game more accessible for YouTubers and, and so forth. Because no one wants to watch a video that's 50 minutes long. And YouTube doesn't want you to make videos that are 50 minutes long. Um, and then on top of that, you are still highlighting your incredible traps. Uh, your incredible trap system. In the game. Uh, I think that would solve a lot of problems. This room luckily wasn't too bad. I was doing myself when the cursor's left it. That is actually pretty good because then we might not need to go to, to the haven. After the first boss fight. Which could be really, really good. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm going to try and focus up here. I think our dagger is by far our best way of dealing with this, this boss. So let's get greedy. Get some blood. Oh. Okay, so what did we learn last time? If, he's got, if the dogs are out, he won't do his multiple strike thing. But if his dogs are not out, he will. No, that is it. No, that's not how it works. Maybe if there's a one dog out or something like that. Okay. Oh, we're just forever fighting dogs this run. This this boss fight. That's, that's great. I really love just fighting dogs over and over again. Okay, so I think what I'm doing wrong with the dogs is I'm going for the, the charge shot every time. I still had a block under my name there. I don't know if it's the stamina just disappears after you cast your attack. Or what the case might be, but I'm not percent sure as well stamina in there. Greed, 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 greed. Okay, I have taken more damage on this fight than uh, I'd have liked to. But, again, I feel like every time I do it, I get a bit better at it. Take more time, try and learn the patterns a bit more. Instead of just focusing on just murdering. The bats in this fight are so obnoxious to deal with, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, wasted my dodge there. That was, that was all me. It's generally all me, I just try and blame the game. We all know that. So yeah, game devs. Maybe for the, the third... We well, can implement some more of them, but maybe for the, the third... Um, Yeah, I don't want that. I can deal with the other two. The other two, just fine. Um, maybe, just maybe. Wait, wasn't I supposed to get fifty percent of my max HP back there? I'll take this for now because I think we need it. I'm not exactly sure. I was supposed to get 50% of my HP back there, I swear. It stores 50% of max health when a curse is lifted. A curse has been lifted. I did not get 650 HP. I was probably on like 300 or something, right? I was not on 25 HP. I'm supposed to get 700. No way that worked. Unless it's... Because the reason I, I was excited to have that is because then I don't have to go Haven. 
I'm gonna just go boop, 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 and then visit one of the havens there. But if it doesn't heal me, did I still not get healed? I still didn't get healed. What the hell? Restores 50% of max health. When a curse is lifted, 50% of my max health is 700. Why do I only have 625 HP? It's not working? It either not working or me just dumb. Which we all know is, is a possibility in itself. Yeah, maybe for your third uh, map, archetype, tile set, whatever you want to call them, dungeon, pyramids, maximum stamina is reduced by one. Killing an enemy with any weapon restores two stamina points instead of one. That'll be good for heavy weapons, which I still don't have any of. Oh man, this is actually gonna suck. <laughs> Come on. Okay, and dodge. Charge attack. Bloodlust! So yeah, maybe that can be a suggestion for your, your third tile set. Um, after, after Snakey Snake. Then you might be able to get away with making rooms a bit more challenging for those hardcore players and then having trap rooms in the middle. But it could be an absolutely terrible idea and you don't care, but you know, I thought it was cool. Taking a sip here while all this burns out. Oh. Um, there we go. Traps ahoy. Oh man, how did that happen? Did, did the, were there exploding things all around? That's unfortunate. I really need to get a, a heavy weapon. Move, move for the right. Yes, if I can burn you. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, okay. We need to fix it. Okay, this is our first actual, like, difficult combat room on this floor. Because we are dealing with incredibly uh, obnoxious enemies. To be honest with you. Hundred and fifty seven damage. Firstly you have to hit this enemy like twenty times before anything happens. Then they shoot multiple of those things that give you a curse and deal 150 damage. 170 damage. That is That is intense, man. The second floor punishes you so fast. Do you have space? No we do. Does anything tell us what our weapons scale with? This scales with constitution. It scales with nothing. Extra damage versus elite. Didn't feel like it. I was using the right click though. Now this scales with dexterity. Like I said, yeah, let's, let's grab the dexterity relic. I have such an itchy nose right now. These cats are murdering me. Yeah, I don't think we can pick up uh, any. Um, let me just memorize. So there, because that was actually our haven here somewhere. Yeah, havens over there. Uh, um, I don't need that. But like I said, I can just be really bad at this game and the people who've been playing this since it came out are absolute gods at the game and I just look like a salty baby in comparison to them. I'm not denying that that's, that's a, a strong possibility. Oh, n you are absolutely effing with me there. Firstly, my nose is driving me insane. It is 
so itchy. Cat hair. Um, and secondly, I freaking hit roll, and my character did literally nothing. Was I rolling into the um, sorceress looking enemy? Oh, well, that's, that's not good. Okay, I think I'm going to have to proper um, Gorilla Warfare this one. Oh no, I released the jump! But it didn't jump. Not on time, at least. Okay, take me out. I'm done. Okay, this is the worst curse in the history of humanity. I hate this curse so much. And I hate these rooms that spawn so many enemies and then there's multiple elite enemies and I don't deal enough damage and I take damage because I'm rolling into them and I don't have enough stamina and I'm bad. It's not fun guys. It's not fun. We have this now. We have this. And this. All right, 136 HP. If I can use the heavy weapon, the hammer to nuke down an enemy or two, that might give me enough HP to not get absolutely slaughtered. I do not like the looks the look of this room. Okay, well, I 110% hit space bar there. And I just got hit. Guys, this game has really turned into a salt factory for me. I was so excited to play it, and I enjoy playing it so much. I just keep getting bodied by moments like that. And whether it is my fault or not, it's upsetting. And I'm trying to be better. And I'm trying to be positive, but it makes me all upsetting spaghetti. That was cool, but not really. I didn't try and parry once that game either. Man. Maybe that's what I should do. Maybe I should just... Tomorrow's run. Maybe what I should do is just... From, from the get-go, instead of dodging, start parrying. Yes, it's weird. Yes, I'm going to die. Yes, I'm going to get hit a lot. But I think that's my main thing. is I try and dodge in moments where parrying just makes more sense. I just don't know about if you get hit by two things in a very small window of time, whether you can parry them both with one parry tap or you have to like quickly tap it or I don't know. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode and you feel like me, and if you share a bit of my opinions about how they could have structured the game a bit differently, just to make it less exhausting, just to make it less exhausting to play because this game it tires out my brain so fast from the dodging of the traps to staying focused in like if if we started fight if we fought the elite at the start of the video instead of 15 20 minutes into the video and i can guarantee i'd improve i would do a lot better because i'm just trying to stay focused that long that has to do with experience and with my terrible attention span and with the fact that i'm bad at games but all in all, let me know in the comments whether you agree with some of my, my suggestions. I think it would be pretty cool to have the, the third area be more trap-based and less combat-based. Just in the sense of, like, have every room have spawn five enemies, assorted enemies, and then one support enemy and one of the big guys. Because every... Um, Labyrinth side 
has or Jaguar or or Serpent has the one big guy and then the sporty guys. So have everyone kind of followed that archetype, and then have the um, the next room after that be one of the trap based rooms. Let me know what you guys think about that idea. I think it could work out pretty well, but I have taken up enough of your time. Um, most of you are left if if uh, any of you existed in the first place. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the episode, leave a like. If you'd like to see more of my content, hit subscribe. If you happen, you know it, clap your hands. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.